what was the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back in a, in a positive way to get you out of that pit of despair? First is the despair. The despair is your teacher, isn't it? The pain is your teacher. Things get so bad that you have to do something else. Desperation. Like, her, yeah, heroin and crack work for a while because it's so like disorienting, isn't it? Yes. Particularly if you're using them together, letting those two little guys Speed argue balls. in your mind. Yeah, absolutely. yeah, yeah. Because the yeah. crack wants to go one way, the heroin wants to go the other way, they can work it out inside your consciousness. <laughs> yep. it's, it's a dazzling little circus to introduce to your it's a brain. Match. It is. Yeah. Usually heroin will win, but crack can put up a good fight if you're willing to do the numbers. <laughs> crack doesn't have the same stamina that heroin does. Crack heroin it, crack. will grind it out forever. I ain't forever. going down. How many? How many people? Strong have... chin heroin. How many? How many ten-year veteran crackheads do you know? Not They're many. Out. It don't last long. First the teeth, then the brain, then everything. Gone. <laughs> All out. Wipe out. The greedy, greedy addiction claims you finger by finger, tooth by tooth, limb by limb. So, but what? Like, so when that place eventually takes you to do well for me for me in the end it was like oh no this isn't working anymore it's getting worse and worse and like eventually thoughts of suicide unable to see what, what, what the way out will be you recognize that that is a kind of gift as long as you are at that point able to have a spiritual experience and a spiritual experience don't have to be some highfalutin mystical thing it can just be a change of perspective i used to look at the world this way now i look at the world this way you need a spiritual experience and then you need the support of a community you need people that have been down the path before you and you need people that are going to support you in your new endeavor you can't be hanging around with the people that are still doing the brown and the white. You need to be with people like, no, no, we don't do that no more. Yep. We're going this way. We're going this way. So those are the two things that I was taught. And How long have you been clean? Have you been clean? Seventeen years. Wow. No drink, no drugs, no stems, no seeds, no spit. Oh wow, there's a light in queue for that. I love that. Oh my God, that's incredible. That's Thanks incredible. a lot, Mike. Cheers, um, mate. Was it you that told me recently that you 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 believe you're uh, you're a combination of the five closest people around you. Was that I think, I mean, that's a commonly held belief in, in, in most spaces yeah. that you become what you surround yourself with. And I, I, there's a, there's a saying in the 12 step program, not Russell's 12 step program, but the, but the original one, yes, which yes, is, uh, that props. <laughs> yep. In AA and NA, which is, <clears throat> If you hang around the barbershop long enough, you're going to get a haircut, hmm. which is to say, if you spend time around the people, places and things that have driven you to act negatively and to bring toxins into your life, you will continue to do those things. It's hmm. it's just the law of nature. And so we we talked to people over the past couple of weeks that say, say, if you spend your time with billionaires, guess what's probably going to happen to you? If you spend your time around spiritual leaders, guess what's probably going to happen? If you, to you? spend your time around drop shippers you're gonna start drop shipping it's an inside joke eventually you'll probably catch on um, or you'll just order a dog <laughs> dog toy for 80 dollars, and then that that's fine too drop shipping that's the future man that's the future drop shipping does right. the does the does the shift need to come from trauma or an extremely negative life threatening altering experience I hope not not for everyone is it, is it possible not to I think so listen I'd like I was recently thinking about I, I once interviewed that fella Andy Puddicum he run that app called um, Headspace. Headspace that's his app I know that app so very well that dude were a proper monk you know 10 years Eesh. shaved dead walking Why, around though? in the snow why was he a monk I don't know probably misery but the thing he told me Mike that's important <laughs> the thing that they, like, he told me that I think is important he once met a 17 year old like llama kid like, yep. and that, he said that even though this kid was just 17 years old he just radiated pure light so it doesn't need to be like you've had this experience mm, that experience mm. and a lot of people that come from cultures that don't emphasize consuming that don't emphasize violence that don't emphasize fear the way our news media emphasizes fear have a different experience of life of course all of us have got the same basic uh, components when it comes to primal drives appetites for sex appetites for food appet appetites for status all these things are in us but how do those things get directed by the culture we live in overstimulated mm. around sex overstimulated around food overstimulated around power you know like so I don't think it's necessary to go to hell mm. in order to have a, a, an awakening but you know I feel that for a lot of people in our type of cultures you have to experience that because otherwise you carry on trying to drop purchase or whatever the hell drop, <laughs> drop ship <laughs> your way out of trouble 